Should I introduce what we're going doing? I think that's probably a good idea. Because this will probably go up before that Stella episode. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And then not not everyone who watches Stella watches you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're well. No, we'll put this on the Botfall channel. It's a co-op. <laughs> 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 All right, it's a co-op. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're I, like ages and ages ago, like over like probably two years ago during Banjo Kazooie, mm-hmm. we got we got a comment saying that we should totally like watch Labyrinth is actually what the comment said was watch Labyrinth <laughs> and record the conversation that we have while we're watching it. Yes. And then upload it because when Amanda and I watch films together we just always talk the whole way. Yeah. I mean since so... we're because we're on Skype, <laughs> we it, it would just if we didn't talk to each other it'd be like we were watching it by ourselves. Yes. <laughs> just silent. It'd be really awkward. So we always like whenever we've watched like Black Yula or Blood on Satan's Claw, we always like talk over them. So like we've decided just just to like watch this episode of the Twilight Zone. It's called The Nick of Time, and the link to the video we watched is in the description if you want to watch along. But we're just going to like see what happens when we try and record our commentary over it. Yeah, so, and then and you um, can and you can play like because we do like a countdown so that we're watching it at the same time. So you can yeah go, like, seriously that's what yeah. we do. You can go that's along with the do. countdown too if you want to and. and in another um another window or something if you want <laughs> yeah um will i do the countdown now yeah sure okay three two one go uh, i love the twilight zone i'm sorry i'm I excited love... does your mom like amanda's mom wanted to send me every episode of the twilight zone on dvd <laughs> one time i know she was so sweet about it she was like I'm he is Harry guys so nice. I'm gonna send him every episode of the Twilight Zone on DVD. I'm like, that's really nice, but he won't be able to watch them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I might be able to watch them on a computer, but like. Oh yeah, I didn't think about know. that. But um. Well, I hope this. I love the bong. I love the bongos and the Twilight Zone music. Don't we? It was like, <laughs> like all over the place like, in the intro. <laughs> yes. I hope this buffers all the way. I don't want it to stop in the middle. Yeah. Well, if it does, just tell me to pause. Okay. Oh, man, she looks upset. I know. She's <laughs> like, just like, fuck's sake. Well, I mean, look at anything. look at what's being towed. Like, this yeah. <laughs> William Shatner's car breaks down. I mean, like, how many episodes of The Twilight Zone has William Shatner even in? I think four or five. Cause he's in that horror at twenty thousand feet or whatever. That as well. one is the best. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know which my favorite one is because I do like that Howling Man one, even if you don't. I just I was never a big fan of it because there wasn't a whole lot going on. Although I do agree with you that there was that part where he's disappearing through the pillars. That's scary. I love that one. Do you know the one with the old lady and she's in the house and she thinks the men from space are. <gasps> I love that one. one. Yes, that one's uh, really good. I and can't it, remember what it's I don't know whether to say exactly. it, what the twist is because it would spoil it for. her. You know who? You know who? Pl- I'm sure you know who plays that woman, but it's. Yes. Uh, I cannot remember her mo- name for the life of me. But it's the mother from it's the, the mother witch. From I, love the witch. <laughs> I love her. She's brilliant. She's like my favorite character in that show. I know she's awesome. What, she's what's her name? Asshole. Like Esmeralda. Or something. Oh, um, Agnes Moore. Agnes Moore. That's, that's yeah. Well, that's the. That's the, uh, that's the actress's, actress's name, name, but like. But to say I love her and Bewitched, she's brilliant. <laughs> Jun Bewitched, Jun I hate. Wait, Jun Wei, her husband's name is Darren. Yes. Well, like, Jun, how would you spell Darren, the name? D A R E N? Yeah, or D A R R E N, or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Well, he spells it like D A R R I N. That's weird. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is weird? Who actually, like, just starts up a jukebox and then just starts dancing? In the middle. like, is that something that was like readily happened then, or ah, oh, it's the thing! Oh no, the devil! <laughs> I, this thing, like, I remember the first time because loads of these Twilight Zone episodes, I saw them for the first time when I was about seven, maybe. Yeah. And um, I remember this thing, like, the, they they repeatedly do this shot of the devil's head wobbling. Yes. And it used to scare me so much. I <laughs> really? don't know what it is, but like, his yeah, it used to frighten me so much. It is quite possible. Oh, here's Rob. Oh, Mr. Surly. (laughs) In my um, in my sex racing class class, um, the professor asked us all to write down on a note card and hand in if we were to have a brush with fame, who would we, 
who would we like to have a brush with fame with, living or dead? And I was like, Rod Surly. I don't know who I'd say. He'd be high up on my list as well, actually. He would. <coughs> that, that Satan head is kind of frightening, though. You know, it's weird. It's something about his teeth or something. And I think it's because it's black and white, too. Like, black, yeah. and, black and white can be really scary. Mm. Like, it's un, it's unsettling. There's this other really, really fantastic episode of this. Um, It's the one, do you know where it's, there's this ar- lady who's an artist, and the weather <gasps> keeps getting hotter yes, and hotter. Yes, it's the, it's the, the fanta- Midnight Sun. The Midnight Sun. Yeah. <laughs> that one's brilliant. That I, one scared that's one of my me. Favorites. That was one that I saw when I was really young, and that one seriously scared me. <laughs> that's one of the best episodes. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's it's really great. I, okay. Hands down, I, I, I already feel like doing this again. <laughs> Oh my Wiggly god, head. the wobbly, oh my god, I, I don't know, it's just weird. Hey, you're the one who picked this episode. I think the first episode of this is really good as well, actually. Do you know that? I think it's that episode where, um, isn't it, like, where this guy wakes up in a town and there's nobody there. Like, there's not, there's absolutely no human beings, but everything, and it's like the Marie Celeste, like, everything in the town is... As if people had just been there, but there's zero but there's people, no people in the town. It sounds yeah, like and it's... something Twilight Zoney, but I can't think of any like a specific it... episode. And what happens is he goes mad, and it turns out in the end that what it was was it was an experiment that that guy was actually a sub... like they had him in a space capsule on his own for an extended period of time to see whether human beings could handle solo long flights in space or whatever. And the whole episode was a hallucination or whatever. It was really good. That's crazy. The only one like that I remember is that like there there was like a couple. It was like a man and a wife and they were in a town or whatever and it, they were shooting each other. No, that no, one. that was different. That was that one was with <laughs> another bewitched character. But no, that was di- this is different. No, and like there was no one in the town, like you were saying. And apparently they were like two new dolls or something in like this playset for the school mm. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw that one as well. Yeah. Oh, there's this. We're talking about every single everything episode but except this episode. This, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. Yeah. I think I think William Shatner looks kind of nice in this episode. Like I don't know, he looks. He like... doesn't look like William Shatner. No, he doesn't. He just he looks like the boy next door, Shatner, not the captain of the Enterprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. She you are. told you so. <laughs> Now we're gonna do with that devil thing. I don't know what it is about that thing that freaks me out. Okay, how often were those things in little like diners like that? Because I have ne- before this, I have never seen what those anything. devil things or yeah. the jukeboxes. No, the devil things. You're I've scared. never. Well, we don't have diners over there. Right? They, if we did, I didn't think. I don't think. Well, no, like they had those prediction machines. Like I'm pretty sure they would have been very common, maybe. But I don't know about ones with devil heads <laughs> on them. That seems a bit weird. I think, like, I would imagine ones that are like Zoltar, like from Big with Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... we have one of those at like at. It's called the Landing in downtown Jacksonville, and we have one of those, and they scare me. It scares me. Does it have like a moving yeah. guy inside? Yeah, it? Oh my god. It does. It's really scary. That's weird. <laughs> Are you going? Are you going to get the piano from Big to like help your posture <laughs> to keep your posture? Yes. <laughs> I know that there was like hey. a st- ooh, wobbly head. That's the one. Oh, that yeah, you- look, it's creepy. Look at it. It wobbles by itself. It is very scary. I think. It's- I think it's because one of its. I think it's because he's winking. I was as well. just about to say that. Yeah. He just looks so like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I never thought that it was seriously scary. still frightened me. <laughs> I never thought it was scary until you said that. <laughs> It's just creepy. Oh my god. I can't look at it. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Why do they keep it's like They're throwing all their money away. Like you keep throwing away all your money on those capsules. <laughs> it's because what happens is like one or two of the predictions they can they seem like they're true. Yeah. So now they're convinced that it is able to predict the future. Yeah. So they're addicted now. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that they get 24 minutes out of this. Oh, I know. I know. 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's so unsettling. Like, even just the camera angle, too, because it's just that thing, mm. and it's a very straight-on camera angle. It's kind of... And it's really sudden. It's just jump cuts to it all of a sudden. It's just... Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. Oh, have you ever seen that one, um... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever my seen... My God. I'm, I'm so scared. This music, too. Yeah. My mom is, like, absolutely in love with this series. <laughs> Does she like this episode? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I picked this episode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Her favorite episode is, uh, Time Enough at Last. Like Which the... one? Is that the one with the glasses guy? Yeah. Like the, the guy who wants to read all his books exactly. with his glasses. And then his yeah. glasses break. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, will you stop showing that stupid devil? <laughs> Yeah, like you don't remember it showing that, showing it that many times. Oh my <laughs> god! god. <laughs> that, no, it's just like looking down on you. <laughs> but it makes it look so giant, but it's actually tiny. Exactly. Oh my god! Why I did I pick this one? It I love how like William Shatner's character one. is just like, no, I'm just gonna keep on going, and then she's like, Marty, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Marty, I'm scared. Like. like <laughs> Um, no, no. Janet, Marty, who are you people? Oh, I forgot we don't have a son. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Patrick, these people have been outside my house saying, where is Patrick all morning? Patrick all morning. <laughs> oh, who's going to watch this? <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> Only watch this if you've ever seen this episode of the Twilight Zone before. Otherwise, I'd suggest watching it separately. First. Outside by side. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel... But... I, I just think it's weird because, like, William Shatner always plays these very abrasive characters. Yeah, and now he's just kind of cool, clean hero kind of guy. He's just this... I don't know. <clears throat> Oh my god, the devil. Have you ever seen that episode where, like, um, it was, I, I'm pretty sure it was Darren from, <laughs> it was it was the first Darren from Bewitched, and, like, he flipped a, um, he flipped the coin and it landed on its side rather than on a head or a tail, and, like, then he could, like, read minds. No, I didn't see, that must be one of the later ones or something. It is, it's, I've only seen it I once before, seen... but it was really interesting. I don't think I own that one, I think I just saw that one on TV. There's a really good one where there's this, like, small suburban town, and, um, the power goes out, and, the, like, slowly the people who live in the suburbs oh, start to be convinced monsters that... monsters do on Maple the... Street? Yeah, that one, mm -hmm. that one of the families is, like, actually they're actually aliens that are starting the invasion or whatever. Yeah. And they start to turn on each other. It's really good. Yeah, that one's a really good one. We actually, in my seventh grade English class, we actually read the screen, like the like the script of that in our Is class. Is that one based on a short story? Because a lot of them are actually based on science fiction serials and short stories that were... I think that one actually is based on a short story, but we read the screenplay. Mm. Like, we, we yeah. read the screenplay in class, and I was the little boy that read the comic books that they started, Aww. like, turning against. They're like, you know too much about aliens. You're probably an alien yourself. Of course he does, because he reads comic books. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a good one. This is a good one, too. <laughs> this is really just, good. <laughs> just in case you've forgotten. <laughs> just disconcerting when they keep showing that devil. I know. That'd be funny if it just showed up right now. It's like, they're outside. What I know, the yeah. <laughs> It'll happen. It's like they see an actual devil, like, walking around. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got, like, hooves. <laughs> yeah. I love it. He's not trying to upset you. <laughs> <laughs> see, Loki's starting to get upset. I told you, he's an abrasive character. And then she's like, Marty, I'm scared. And that's pretty much like, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, he's a psycho. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. She could have got her eye poked off on the windshield. On the... Yeah, for like real. That. <laughs> that... 
okay, the only reason that happened is because you decided to jut out into the street. Yeah, I see, but that's the thing, you see. Yeah. Is it actually predicting the future, or, or is, is, it, he, is making he making it predict it? the future? Yeah. Do you know? It could be science fiction, or it could be just science. <laughs> <laughs> or just fiction. Oh, okay. <laughs> or it could be geological <laughs> science fiction. <laughs> I swear to you, if you do not write those stories, <laughs> literally, you should write them, and I'll give them to my mom, and I'm pretty sure she will absolutely love them. It's not a coincidence. It wasn't a coincidence because you made it happen. <laughs> exactly. You ding bad. <laughs> the only coincidence is the fact that you ran out to the middle of the road, and it just so happened to be the right time. Yeah, that's the only coincidence. <laughs> But that, that's not even a coincidence either, because he could have looked, like, unconsciously seen the clock. They're going to show the devil, aren't they? Yes, they are, of course. Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be there. <laughs> oh, they're actually going to pat... Oh, no, oh, this is the is. part where they, like, get rid of the old lady, where they're like... He's like, get out of here, I want to use the devil. <laughs> I want to use the devil. <laughs> I think that's what he does anyway, I don't, if I remember I don't right. remember. There should be a devil on every... There's one over there on the... Yeah, but you see, he's convinced that it's that one, I guess. I suppose like, look, so. Like, he can't wait for them to get room go away. <laughs> he's gonna accost those poor old women. It's like, I wish those old biddies had gone away <laughs> so I can get on my... Use the devil. <laughs> I use the devil. It's a napkin holder. It's not even, like, a <laughs> just a fortune-telling machine. It's a napkin holder that happens to be... It's like a napkin holder come devil come... <laughs> Okay, question. Fortune telling question. machine. This guy behind the counter, I'm only assuming he's yeah. the owner of this establishment. Why? What was his yeah. decision behind getting these, like, devil napkin holes? I have no idea. Maybe the devil put them there. <laughs> maybe he's the Maybe he's the devil. <laughs> maybe this is the devil's diner. Devil's that's what, after that guy released the devil in the Howling Man one, he opened a diner. <laughs> I just love how, like, the guy that lives in that mansion looks like Moses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, um, man. Are they gonna use it? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen this one. He just has pennies to get- oh, no, he's gonna make change. I was about to say- <laughs> Just give, give me, me some give, pennies. Give me, give me all your pennies. <laughs> this is a stick off. This is a stick <laughs> Give me all I your pennies or pennies. else. <laughs> I, don't, I feel sorry for his poor wife. Are they married? I thought that they were like fiancé. Oh, yeah. No, I think they're on honeymoon, aren't they? Oh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> that wobbly thing. Oh my god. I know. This is very intense. Yeah, because his, his, his wife or whatever is just looking at him becoming insane. Like, <laughs> going, oh my god. I'm married to him now. I can't get out. <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and like, he always plays characters that seem to be insane. Like, in the... In the... <laughs> Captain Kirk is mad. He always, like, seems like he's insane. <laughs> Like in the the Twilight Zone episode where you know the monsters on the wing, they're just like, oh, there's a monster on the wing, and everyone's like, okay. Oh my god, you're crazy! Get off. <laughs> just go back to sleep. Yeah, we'll just have to restrain you. <laughs> that monster on really did scare me though, especially that one part where he's like has his face squished up against the window. Oh yeah. <laughs> that part scared the crap out of me. Did you ever see like the the Twilight Zone film where they remade? Several of the ones from no, the I have, se original series. I have not. I think Steven Spielberg directed it, really? but they remake um that one, the one that one with William Shatner, Nightmare at Twenty Thousand Feet. Yeah. And they and they remake that one. Um, it's a good life, Joe, with the cornfield. Oh um, my god! Yeah. But it's it's really good. Like it's actually quite good. I like it. I remember when I was a it's kid, a, like my my um. My dad would just like, just just to be weird, he'd be he'd be like, "You're a bad man. You're a bad man." Oh my man. god! 
You're no, that go poor guy. Co- that poor guy who just wants to listen to Perry Combe over the whole episode. <laughs> I know. It's like <laughs> I just want to listen to Perry Combe. Perry Combe. I love it. Oh man. There's some weird stuff. I love this show. <laughs> Do you know what I was reading that like that the short story that Joe you know that, you know that episode Little Girl Lost where the girl falls through the wall into the alternate dimension. Oh yeah. Like the short story that that was ba- that was based on a short story. And I was reading that like the short story that that was based on the guy who wrote it was inspired by this time where his daughter actually went missing in the house and they couldn't find her anywhere. And then they just found her, and she couldn't tell them where she had been. I was like, "Oh my god, that that's is really scary. so terrifying!" <laughs> yeah, I do remember that's that really... though. That was a weird episode. They're all weird. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the point, I suppose. But like, no, some of them are quite quaint. Like, there's this one where um, there's this guy, and he has an accident and dies, and he's with his dog, and the dog dies as oh, well. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. I know exactly. And um, this guy tries to get him to go to, as he says, heaven, but he says, oh, your dog's not allowed to come. Yeah. So your man's like, well, I, I'm not going to go if, if my dog can't come, because that's no heaven I want to be in. Yeah. And it turns out that that was actually, that was actually hell the, or whatever. The, yeah, that was like, the, the, oh my god. The devil, that was that guy. <laughs> yeah, the devil. Oh, they keep showing I, that devil. I think the, um, I think the Twilight Zone episode that gave me like the best you know good feeling was probably um i sing the body electric that was just that one's really nice it was the one where um where the mother it was a single father and there was like three children and like they decide to go to this place that builds like android nannies or whatever did you ever see that one that one's written i never saw that one that one's actually written by ray bradbury Oh, cool. Yeah, and like it's just really nice because one of the one of the children like can't accept the android nanny or whatever because like it's not it, it's like it's not my mother and then she ends up saving her from like a car wreck or something. It's really nice. It's just it's just a really yeah. feel good episode. It's very good. Yeah, see, some of them are like that. Some of them are really quaint like that. You know. Mm-hmm. They're like, on, isn't there that other episode terms. where all the I don't old think they're people married, get to live, like, earlier she a asked youthful the de- life again or whatever? Well, earlier she asked the devil, will I ever get married? I mean... Oh, maybe they aren't I, married, Yeah, so. I feel like they're fiancé or something. So she's trying to ask a question that seems to be obvious. You see what I'm saying? Well, you see, that's the question. Is he actually deciding all this already, you know? Yeah. This whole episode is confirmation bias. <laughs> yeah. You're wearing a different shirt than he was before. I don't know, I've just noticed that stitching. I know, on it's his a very right prominent there. stitching. <laughs> like someone drew it on. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should ask the devil about that. <laughs> what happened to my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, it's like jeez, they should just they should just set him up with a magic eight ball. It'd be cheaper. <laughs> it would be. Although I don't It'd cost a penny every two minutes. I, I know. Although I don't know. Oh, oh, you mean just set him up? Okay, I thought you meant like set him up to be married to a magic eight no, ball. No, not like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even though I don't think he'd refuse at this stage. He, wants he seems to, to love married. that devil. He wants to be married to a magic eight ball. I don't know how he would consummate the marriage, but you know, whatever. I'm sure he'd ask the eight ball. Because <laughs> he's just that crazy. Yeah, you. That's what you think. I get the feeling that the the devil isn't even a thing. Like it's just all because like just William Shatner's cr- insane. <laughs> just... Yeah, he's just creating the whole situation himself. You know. Yeah. Oh, I'm back like, now. It's a, like the <laughs> the fact that it has a devil head is just to make it seem like it has a presence to us and it has a like it has a will and it has some sort of animus. Although of Rod Serlin's gonna do something right now to challenge oh, that. Oh, look, the, yeah, look at this. Why are they so it. infatuated with it right now? No, these are these two that like they're addicted to it completely. It's just like the magic conch. <laughs> 
Can I have something to eat? <laughs> no. no. Can I have something to eat? No. no. Can I have something to eat? No. <laughs> Can I have something to eat? Try asking again. <laughs> Can I have something to eat? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so who are the are they are these just another couple that live here that pretty much just I live wonder off whether of- like they're supposed to be I wonder if they're supposed to be William Shatner and that woman, but in the future. Because they don't look unlike the, what they could, you know, that kind of way. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I don't know. Or else they're just too, like, you know, that kind of way, whether that's supposed to be them coming back later, or whether it's just two different people, you know? I don't know. Some really hard-hitting questions there, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh my like, god! Oh my god like right at the end! <laughs> <laughs> that devil. That devil head. Scary. Harry, I can't go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We need to watch something like Winnie the Pooh or something <laughs> like that. Like, like, get the devil out of my mind. I know, seriously. Are we gonna add Winnie the Pooh to this? <laughs> no, we are not. Okay. Well, that's the end of our experiment. Yes, our experimental Twilight Zone. If you... If you liked it, then that's good. If you've never seen yeah. this episode and you watched it for the first time with us talking like maniacs over top of it, I apologize. And let us know if you want us to do like somewhat similar things in future, because we'll watch anything. Like we yeah. can even do like a whole film. Like we could watch. We could, but anything. it's like it's usually we like. Both of us, you, so. Yeah, usually we like watching these kind of kooky kind of. Mad thing. like black you love. Or four. Remember that time we like forced Tyrell to watch four yeah. rooms, <laughs> and he was he would he could hear uh, he could hear all of us, but, we but he could only he would only like type at. <laughs> yeah, he ended up liking that movie though. So I mean, it was like when Beethoven was deaf. He used to write on a chalkboard <laughs> to his friends. <laughs> That's so sad. I don't think it's exactly. Or he used like to get, that. or the other way round. He used to get his friends to write down on a chalkboard. Yeah, <laughs> that's sad. I'm seeing all these on the right hand side, and I just like, I want to watch all of them now. <laughs> oh, what ones are there? Oh, no, we are oh, not watching the dummy. That one. Exit. Oh no, the dummy scares me. Like for real, that scares me. Oh, the one with the ventriloquist. That one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one and the living doll. That one scares the mess out of me. I'm not, it's not even what a bizarre one, feeling, uh, it is a terrified feeling. What about that one, um, Eye of the Beholder? Did you ever see that one? <gasps> yes, that one scared the... me too. What else is there? Oh, the Bewitching Pool. I don't like that one. I don't, I don't, know. I don't remember that one. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of boring. <laughs> have you, have you like, stopped recording yet? No. Me <laughs> either. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, anyway bye. <laughs> bye, fellas.